Hi there. Let's take a look at how we calculate one of the three main methods of investment appraisal. This one is ARR. Don't forget there are three main types of investment appraisal. The payback period. This is measured in terms of time, how long it takes a project to repay the initial investment. The one we're going to look at here, ARR, average rate of return, which looks at a percentage return on the project. And lastly, discounted cash flow net present value, which calculates the of money value now of the future cash flows. But we're going to take a look in the next uh, few minutes at how we calculate ARR. Don't forget in, in A-level business exams, you're not given the formulae, so you need to remember the formula for calculating ARR. It's a percentage, and we do this by dividing the average annual return in monetary value here in pound notes. We divide that by the project's investment and express that as a percentage. So we always multiply by 100 to get a percentage return. So let's take a look at an example of how we do this. You may want to pause the video if you want to have a go at calculating ARR on this project. A hotel looking to spend uh, two million pounds as an investment to expand the hotel, adding some new bedrooms and some new facilities. And we're given the table of information which shows the project cash flows, the net cash flows over four years in addition to the investment of two million going out. Don't forget with ARR, if you're given a table with uh, inflows and outflows, you'll need to calculate the net cash flows. But in this situation, a little bit easier, we're given the net cash flow numbers for each year. OK, so let's have a look at how we calculate ARR for this business situation. There's the formula and there are the numbers in the table there. Three steps to calculating ARR. The first step is to work out the total return of the project. What we do for this is we add together the cash flows, the net cash flows, but most importantly, we need to remember to deduct the investment when we're working out this total return. So if we add together the four, cash, the four uh, years worth of positive net cash flow, that comes to 3,250,000. That's the 500,000 in year one, 750,000 in year two, and a million pounds of net cash flow in each of year three and four. So that comes to 3,250,000. But don't forget, and this is often the stage that most students uh, forget, we need to deduct the cost of the investment, £2 million, to give us a total return of £1,250,000. OK, there it is. That's the total return. The next step is to work out the average annual return. And this is relatively straightforward. We simply take the total return of £1,250,000 and we divide that by the number of years of the project. We're given four years, so we have to use four, divided by four, which means that the average annual return, the top part of the formula, is £321,500 per year. Well, we're almost there with ARR. We need to do the final step in the calculation, which is to divide our average annual return by the investment. And again, it's straight, straightforward. Here it is. There was our average annual return of £321,500. And we divide that by the investment. In this case, we're told it was £2 million. But don't forget, with ARR, we need to show that as a percentage. So we do that uh, division, 321,500 divided by 2 million times by 100 to express it as a percentage. And the ARR for this project is 15.63%. Don't forget with ARR, the key thing there is to remember to deduct the cost of investment from the net cash flows when we're calculating the total return of the project. Hopefully that's been useful. That's a quick overview as to how to calculate ARR.